<laughs> you know, first of all, just tell me when, when you first spoke with Carrick, what, what was the biggest thing that stood out to you about his passion for Mizzou? Just that, his passion, his energy, his commitment, um, his character. He also has a very t uh, a baseball tactical mind that's really interesting. He has a different um, skill set as well, a different background. When you look at what he's done in the play as a player agent, when he's as a scout, obviously a great talent evaluator, but he really knew Mizzou. He knows our Midwest footprint. He has deep connections, and his energy is going to bring people back. How important do you feel like his connection to the alumni? You know, he gets it. He gets what, what they want to see and what they've seen in the past. How important is that going to be moving forward? Well, it's very important. Uh, we can't do this by ourselves. And at Mizzou, we outpeople people. Uh, it was important for us to have Ian Kinsler as a part of our search, our search process because Ian can speak with authenticity about the greatness of Mizzou baseball and those times where we really were great. Um, Ian also has a, he's very well respected, he's very, very smart, and he gave a different lens that I thought was important. So I wanted to listen to experts. What was Ian's role in all this? You know, if you don't mind going into what his role, what, what, what role did he play in it? He was integral when it came to looking at um, our baseball program in totality, mm -hmm. looking at our can helping us develop our candidate profile. We listened to our student athletes, of course, too, in the candidate profile. Um, and then we wanted to look back at times similar to what we did um, with basketball and volleyball and all of our searches. We want to look at it very methodically, um, very thoughtfully. And so Ian was a really important voice in helping us develop the candidate profile. And then he met with all of our candidates and he gave feedback on every candidate. Um, it was a very collaborative search process, and so I was really grateful for that lens. But then also I wanted to send a message too to those candidates that, hey, we gotta all do this together. You can't do it by yourself, um, and we can't just throw a bunch of uh, resources and expect that all of a sudden that's gonna fix it. No, it's gonna start from that leader, and I wanted that leader to know that he had support behind him. You know, Carrick says as long as you have the basic necessities of what you need that you can compete. You know, is there any changes that you wanna see moving forward, you know, whether it's facilities, investment, whatever it is? Well, we invested last year and we're going to continue to invest in, in baseball. Um, you know, we're going to look at it very methodically. We're going to look at it from a short term and facilities wise. You know, we do we need to put turf around the entire outfield? Um, our scoreboard and our sound system. There's some opportunities there. I can't fix the weather. Um, and I know it can be a little cold. Uh, but we're going to look at it very, like both short and then, and, and then incrementally look at what we can do in the long term. You know, what are your hopes? I know he's not putting a timetable on anything, but what are your hopes that, you, that you'll be able to see in the first season with Carrick, whether it's culture or wins or what is that? Compe a competitive baseball program. We want to have a plan and then show progress. Is there anything that. You as you talked to him and, and those quick turnarounds he had at, at, at Southern and, and Memphis, was there anything that, that stood out in your conversations with him about, hey, that was the key to those and he can bring that here? His passion and his grit. He also has a very strategic approach in the way that he looks at things. He sees opportunities um, where some may see insurmountable challenges. And I wanted someone to look at Mizzou baseball and say, hey, you know, Mizzou baseball has had some periods of incredible greatness. And let's let's find out why that occurred. And then let's methodically go about building something that we all can be proud of. There is great baseball talent in our state. I loved his deep connections to, and our whole committee was really persuaded by his deep connections to the Midwest and our whole, our whole recruiting footprint. So I think it's gonna be a, it's a special, special fit. It's funny, during the press conference, I was looking up and I saw the last time as we went to a regional, you know, won a conference yeah. championship in 2012, and obviously Carrick was there for that. What, what do you feel like he, he's going to bring from that and learn from that experience at Mizzou? He's a tireless and relentless recruiter, mm -hmm. and he has deep ties and deep respect within our footprint. He's going to bring that coupled with a very with a staff. It's going to be a very um, a very values based staff, but also they're going to be relent relentless recruiters, um, very tactically sound, and then he has a really engaging personality and that brings people in. And that energy, right? This is the Southeastern Conference. It's the most competitive conference in the entire country. And if you look at, I think um, SEC schools won like 81 percent of our non-conference games. Look at the regionals. Look at, I think we had eight teams host. It's competitive. We've got to be innovative. But how we're going to beat folks 
and we're going to do it with a humility, um, with a relentless work ethic. Um, but we have to be a little bit different. We have to be innovative, and we're going to out people people. When you look at the emotion, you know that comes out right when he gets up to the podium. What does that mean to you? You know, to see that from your new head coach. It's special. It's really special. Um, you can feel it. You can feel that this wasn't just a job. This was the job. Uh, I remember when I first went on my visit with my son here, and we fell in love with Mizzou. It, I, I know that feeling. And then when President Choi and, and the board offered me the job, I had that same emotion. And I remember calling my husband and son and saying, how would you feel if your mom was <laughs> the athletic director? And uh, my son said, I'm proud of you. And I still, I still think about that moment. And then he said, I'm, don't worry, Mom, I'm not going to enter the transfer portal. So <laughs> there's that. Um, <laughs> but I, I felt that same emotion with Carrick. And, and that's what I'm looking for. I want someone to care so much that they're, they're not going to see obstacles, but they're going to see opportunities. Because these are someone's sons. And he has the opportunity to impact their lives. Um, that's really special. Thanks, Desiree.